Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to find the time that took to resolve a ticket and what is the turnaround time. So for example, there was a service ticket raised on 17th of September 2019. It was closed on 2nd October 2019. So we wish to find out what is the difference between these two days in terms of working days. Now do note that between these two dates, there are some holidays which are falling, that is 29th September 2019 and 2nd October 2019. And Saturday, Sunday are holidays. So let us see that. First, I'm going to go to the dark yellow cell and write in the function called networkdays.intl. That means, what are the net working days between two dates? The parameter suggests that I first choose a starting date then I choose the ending date. Then the third parameter suggests what is the type of the weekend I should follow. In some countries, they follow Friday and Saturday. Well, let me take Saturday and Sunday. Next, it asks me if you have a holiday list to which gladly I choose these two cells. And then I close the bracket to be able to press enter. Now it says 11 working days is what it took to close the service request ticket. Let's find out if that is true. So, 17th September, 2nd day, 3rd day, 4th day. Next, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 days. Next, 10th day and 11th day. Why are we not taking the 2nd October? Because this is holiday. And 29th September is falling on a Sunday. So that anyhow has been taken as a holiday given that it is Sunday. So there you go. This is the 11 working days including the starting date. How many days has been taken to close this service ticket request. Now, quite converse is also true. For example, if I tell you that the starting date of a request is 17 September and our maximum lead time is 10 working days. So by when this service ticket request should be closed. To calculate that, let me go to the next dark yellow cell and write in the function called workday.intl. Now, it says start date, then it says 10 working days, then we define the weekend as Saturday, Sunday, hence digit 1, followed by choosing this holiday list. Let me close the bracket and let's look at the answer. Enter. Now, do keep in mind that Workday.intl excludes the starting date from its computation while NetworkDays.intl includes the starting date. What does it mean? Let me show you in the form of the calendar. So, if the request came from the customer on 17 September, that day is excluded. So, let me start the count. 18th, 19th, 20, 3 days. Next, another 5 days, total 8 days. Next, ninth day, and this is the 10th day. So by the end of 1st October 2019, this ticket should have been resolved. So my friends, do try these two tricks. These are extremely essential when you wish to find out how many working days have been taken to close the service ticket request. That means turnaround time. Do ensure that you remember these two points of theory, that this formula includes the starting date and this formula excludes the starting date. So that was a quick video on finding the turnaround time or the deadline. 